All right, so now SAP system is already extracted in your downloads folder. In my case, you can see it is in a folder SAP NetViewer 752 ABAB Academy. If you double click on this, you will actually see the very same folder. And this is the folder that we are looking for. This, this one is the important one. Okay, because inside of this folder, there is the whole SAP system installed on the Linux machine. It looks something like this. Okay, lots of, lots of files, big files. If you would take a look on the size of this folder, it's around 70 gigabytes, so pretty big folder. Important thing to notice, we don't want to keep SAP system being in your downloads folder. We want to find a better place in your laptop, in your PC for this SAP system. So I recommend to move it into your C drive especially if you have enough of space, just because this is the most efficient way how you can run your SAP system. It's the fastest way, just because it's running on the same hard drive uh, in, your, in your laptop. Here is the place where you can move this SAP system. So you go to your C drive, users, find your username, in my case, Ladislav Ritzik, find the documents folder, and inside of this documents folder, hit new folder and create a new folder and name it virtual machines, for example, okay? And you go, hit enter, and go inside. However, in your case, if you don't have uh, that much space on C drive, you can move it to D drive. It's not a problem. The only thing is that, that it may be slower a bit. So now I want to move this folder, just do the right click, hit cut or control X, and go to the folder where I want to move the whole SAP system, do the right click, here is the small icon for paste or control V and you just wait for a few moments until the whole SAP system is moved from the D drive to C drive. 